The new macro mode on the iPhone 13s sure is a nifty feature, but how well does it stack up against a real dedicated mobile macro lens? In this video, I'll compare the macro mode on my iPhone 13 Pro Max with the Moment 10X macro lens that currently is being sold at around $100 and the Apexel macro lens that is currently being sold at around $40. Let's get started. Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos with Fans. Today we're talking macro, and I definitely don't mean that weird fitness thing that I don't fully understand. I've got a bunch of flowers that I've given my wife over the past few months that are perfect for macro photography, and I have a little product macro video to shoot for an upcoming spec piece that I'm working on. Today we're gonna compare these three in terms of cost, working distance, and performance. In the simplest terms, macro photography of filmmaking is the capturing of super small stuff. This makes it great for capturing flowers, creepy crawlies, or any kind of branding. The reason these lenses allow you to capture these super small things in such detail is a combination of two things. Thing number one is optical zoom that zooms you in for a closer look at your subject without compromising image quality. And number two is a decreased working distance, which allows you to get physically closer to your subject while still maintaining focus. Now, this is where we're going to see our first separation between these three alternatives. The macro mode on my iPhone 13 Pro Max does not add any optical zoom, but instead merely decreases the minimum working distance of a shot. Do note that Apple claims that the ultra wide camera is the only one capable of using macro mode. In my experience, the macro mode seems to work with the 1X and 3X cameras on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, but Apple says it's only the ultra wide, so I'm just letting you know what Apple says. Want to learn more about macro modes specifically for filmmaking? Check out the video right up there. Another bit of information worth mentioning is that to use the Moment 10X macro lens, you will have to purchase a Moment mounting option, the best of these being the M series case, which is what I will be using for this video. The Moment M series case can run you anywhere between 20 and $55, depending on Moment specials. Your purchase of the Apexel macro lens does come with a universal clip-on mount. For the purposes of efficiency with this video, I am going to attach the Apexel macro lens to my Sandmark Pro case because both have a threaded mounting option that's just going to allow me to switch between all of these options more more efficiently. The Sandmark case that I'm using is an additional like $40 purchase. I don't dislike Apexel's universal mounting option. I just prefer to use a case for mounting whenever possible. Now let's discuss the results in terms of cost, working distance, and performance.
And that's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It really helps photos with phones out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people. Because of the algorithm. Comment below which smartphone macro photography lens is best for you. I'd love to discuss the pros and cons of your choice as well as answer any questions that you might have. And as always, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell because we're coming out with videos about mobile photography and filmmaking, tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, unboxings, anything that you could want to know if you like taking photos and videos on your phone. Toodles. See you in the next one. Bye.